Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about counter, which is a move that is generally not used a lot outside of low level. Um, that's because it is uh, very predictable, uh, people use it for landings, and very punishable. Uh, it can be grabbed at any point, you can time a smash attack, uh, it has a ton of lag. And um, for Roy, his comes out frame 8 uh, with frame 7 in its ability, I believe. You can look up that kind of stuff online if you're interested. Um, which means it's not it's not really fast enough to be a combo breaker. Um, usually to be a combo breaker it really needs to be frame 5 or less uh, to have much potential for that. Ideally frame 3 or less. Um, it needs to have some kind of armor and instability and, and Roy's isn't until frame 7. Uh, so because of that, uh, counter is not the greatest move. Um, what we will be talking about are some niche uses of it. Um, or situational uses, so like the obvious one is like runoff counter, um, and you can also combine that with crouch slip, which you can look up yourself, or I might cover in a video another time, um, or other methods of countering. Um, another method of uh, kind of getting a counter off without having it be easily punished is to counter while you are um, falling off the stage. Uh, so like here. Um, but if you do it too low, you won't be able to recover, as you saw. Um, just give me a second here. And if you do it too early, you can still get hit as they're falling. But if I do it nicely... Uh, one second. I can kind of cover myself as I recover, which can help with... Uh, people kind of throwing off hitboxes, and the reason why that's a little bit harder to cover is um, you have the ledge protecting you, so characters have to kind of call it out and go under the ledge, which they might not be ready to do. Um, you can also sometimes counter projectiles uh, like off stage um, as an alternative to uh, air dodging um, or something, or double jumping or something like that. It's very niche and situational, but if people are kind of not respecting you, it can sometimes work. Besides that, there is counter out of shield, which is when you jump and then counter. Um, very straightforward, but I think people forget that you can counter in the air, which means you can counter out of a um, out of a jump and out of shield, and it can be a, a niche option that counters literally counters uh, mashing. Um, if someone is charging a uh, smash attack next to you and you're in shield, you could try doing this to get a hard punish. Obviously, if you're hit while you're before your counter actually comes out, then you're kind of just going to get hit. Um, in some cases, though, the counters are so absurdly powerful when they do connect that it could be worth taking the risk. That being said, most people aren't going to charge smash attacks at you. Um, so more likely than not, it's going to be have to be a read on someone trying to read you with a smash attack, for instance. Um, that can be, or it doesn't have to be a smash attack, it could be a tilt or something as well. Um, it can be a counter to like someone um, pressuring you um, with unsafe pressure. That being said, counter out of shield, even if you do it frame perfect, which is uh, a little bit difficult. Um, you have to uh, be careful to like jump and then immediately counter, but you don't want to spot dodge by pressing down too early. So the way that I do it is I shield, I let go of shield, I jump, and then press down B. Um, to do that it is difficult, a little bit difficult, and then even if you do it, there's still at least 11 frames or 10 frames where you can uh, be hit, meaning um, for like proper pressure on shield, people generally aren't going to be doing things that are um, that unsafe. They, they sometimes will, um, but usually not. So it it's almost like if you're going to counter someone, you almost have to like reverse condition them, where they you make them want to go for a harder punish um, on something that you're doing with a slow button. Um, they do something that's maybe, you know, more than minus 10, maybe it's minus a minus 15 block strength, and you punish that with a counter. Um, but again, it's very niche. I don't recommend it. I 
I, I'm going to include some clips of, of me uh, counter doing counter outer shield, but it's it's so rare I do it. I have to like be doing myself basically. So besides that, um, there is a uh, jump canceled counter. So jump canceled counter is just uh, jumping and then canceling with the counter. It's the same thing of, of countering in shield really, um, but you're, you do it from a run. Um, so let's let's quickly compare the different counters. So if I just run and I press down B, I'm going to halt all my momentum. Um, and if for some reason I wanted to like, run into something and counter it, um, I get just a tiny bit less far than if I jump cancel counter, where I get this like slight slide effect. Um, there's a couple reasons you get the slide effect, um, and if we go into slow motion, we'll be able to see this. So here's the regular counter. You just lose all momentum. Now, if I do a jump cancel counter, first of all, when I start jumping, I'm still gonna slide. Then I'm gonna buffer a downbeat. Because I'm jumping, I carry some of my momentum with the counter, and I end up sliding a little bit. This is a like basically a microspacing thing. All it does is that if you really space this into a hitbox, you can end up having the frames where you're vulnerable with your counter um, be slightly outside of the range of the move that you're trying to counter. Um, so I'll see if I can like show it here. Okay, so I have to switch characters and uh, re-record this segment, but basically, let's say I'm like right here and I try to counter this. This will actually whiff it's too far, um, but if I uh, jump, I can also end up whiffing if I don't space it right. And um, if I dash too late um, to counter, then I can end up getting hit. So the, the key thing to note here is that um, you can't actually... Uh, counter immediately out of a dash. You have to wait until the initial dash is over to do it. Um, so on top of the sliding effect, the only way to get like a, a quick counter that's not in place is to do a jump cancel counter by starting a dash and then quickly jumping and pressing down B. Um, so you see like to cover this short distance, you can only really do the jump cancel counter. Um, if we compare that against like the F smash, um, so to do a dash counter is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then it's going to start the counter, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, oh no, you just barely got hit. So you see how slow it is to do a dash counter, whereas if I do a jump cancel counter, uh, I can actually still make it because I just barely made it at the time, but I was so quick that I still made it. Um, and that allows me to also just like, I can like more reactionary, well not reactionary I guess, because you have to get some time, but um, I can do that like without committing to the dash too early. Um, and I can even start my like counter frames. Um, outside of the range of his F smash. So like if he's F smashing here, I can be like, uh, hold on, let me time it right. I can start here, so even if he'd released it, I'm like out of range, but then by the time my counter starts, I'm actually within range. Besides using jump cancel counter like that as a like niche approach option to counter stuff, um, you can also use it. Oh, let me turn this off. Um, you can also use it to go off stage. Um, the only thing it really helps with is if you like you're the type to like run off, try and run off, and you get stuck. But then you're scared that when you do it the other way, you like run off or slide off too far. What you can do is when you're about to get off, you just do a jump cancel counter. And because you're like technically slightly above the ground, you'll kind of just slide off. Um, 
it's a little bit quicker than a crouch slip, I believe, but it's not it's not going to be quite as effective. Um, so a ledge slip. Here's a ledge slip. Um, ledge slip counter. I just did the easy method. Um, so it's it, 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 like it can be better than running off, but it's not necessary, um, and it's not. It doesn't replace uh, crouch slipping or uh, ledge slip counter. Um, so in that sense, it's not required, but it can be helpful. So uh, that's a um, ledge slip counter. Lastly, I'll just include some properties of uh, counter uh, for reference. So um, if I counter a move from really far, really far, it actually has a sour spot of sorts um, that has lower knockback. Uh, for comparison, if I counter this close, it actually sends Sheik to tumble. That's because of the greater knockback. Um, that sour spot is pretty far out, to be honest, and it doesn't really have much of an impact. But if you're ever like, oh, that's weird, I countered and it was weaker, that could be it. Um, another thing is that grounded counter, uh, ignore that I just counted it wrong. I don't have, um, I don't have training mod. So this is awkward for me, but um, grounded counter is going to have uh, slightly more knockback than aerial counter, but like it's so slight, I don't even know if I even got it there. Yeah, it's like it's very slight. Um, so technically that. That could also affect your knockback. Um, generally speaking, it's it's fine. There aren't many situations where it's like, oh, I wish I would have got a ground encounter instead of arrow counter. Also, as far as I know, if the actual attack is, even if you start your counter in the air, if the actual counter attack is on the ground, it will use the grounded uh, knockback. And if you um, are still in the air when you counter, then it will use the uh, aerial knockback for the uh, attack part. Um, so it only matters kind of where you are when you actually do the counter attack, not where you start the counter. And yeah, uh, that's kind of it for uh, counter for now. Um, I mean, there might be some other small things I forgot to mention. But overall, it's a niche move with very situational usage, but there are some different ways you can use it. And uh, I just wanted to uh, bring those up uh, in case someone found them useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time.